Last week, we told you about a woman in Whistler who's dying of cancer. And her wish is to see her sister. Chari Santiago has been told she only has a few weeks left, but because of the travel ban, her sister April can't come from the Philippines to say goodbye. The family is now pleading with the Canadian government to let her in. Joining me now from Whistler is Chari's husband, Arthur, and her sister, April, joins us from the Philippines this morning. Good morning to you both. Uh, Arthur, let's start with you. How is Chari doing right now, and how are you holding up? Um, Chari, she's noticeably getting weaker. Every day, it's harder for her to wake up. She's expending so much energy trying to fight the disease, and all the medication that she's taking is it's making her really sleepy. Um, honestly, I am coping. I'm struggling. Um, I'm. It, it's tough, right? Uh, but no matter what it takes to help my wife, that's what I'm going to do. I have to be there for her, and I want to be there for her. So, yeah. Well, someone who wants to be there for her is her sister April. April, we're going to bring you into this. Uh, describe the bond that you have with your sister. Yeah, she's the best. If there's someone who stayed by my side, my whole life is my ate. She consoled me in every circumstances I face, and I'm the luckiest person because my ate is here. Arthur, uh, Charlie's mo uh, Charlie's mother has been allowed into Canada. She arrived Thursday after a two-week quarantine in Vancouver. Talk to me about how much joy that brought to your wife. Oh, it was... Uh... It was amazing. Like she came in and my and she immediately teared up. They embraced for a long time and she was so happy. She was just so happy to see her mom. Um, she's been doing some home cooking and she's been enjoying the food. I can just see how much she hasn't been eating a lot at all, really. And now that her mom's here, she's been eating a little bit and stuff. But uh, yeah, it was it was it was amazing to see. I was uh, I was in tears just watching them, the how Chari reacted and how she looked at her mom, and they, it felt like their embrace lasted forever. April, if you could see your sister right now, what would you want to say to her? Ate, I'm here to hug you. I will never leave you until you need me. I promise to be strong for you. Stay strong, and God is with us. Arthur, I, I have to ask, I know that you've been uh, trying to reach out to the federal government. What are you hearing from them about this case? Honestly, I haven't heard anything. I have, uh, I have lots of people, you know, um, advocating for me, and they've been getting just auto replies. There's an auto reply from our local MP, Patrick Wheeler, just saying that he is advocating, that he is um, talking to certain people, but I haven't heard anything directly indirectly nothing no emails uh i have a, a whistler immigration who's helping us out as well and they haven't heard anything either arthur uh, april we can't imagine the feeling of of watching someone that you love go through what what chari's going through and add this physical distance and this impossibility of seeing each other it's a stress that uh we wish that we could take away so we are sending you our very very best uh, and we'll be keeping an eye on this story. Um, all the best to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.